Now let's take a look at measuring gas with an Arduino. It's surprisingly easy when you use something like this MICS 5524 sensor and breakout board. Now this sensor can measure things like CO, ammonia, ethanol, methane, propane, bleed butane. There's quite a few different gases it can measure. The specs are actually on the back of this and the product page. Now, what you really need to understand about measuring gases is this one, just like almost all other gas sensors, does not detect what type of gas, but the change in gas density in the known area. So what does that mean? That means that this is not to be used for a final product. This is not to be used for biomedical. It's not to be used for safety. This is not something you wanna put in any area that relies on the detection of a toxic or flammable gas mixture to save your life or really do anything. This is for experimenting purposes only. So hopefully you get the picture here. This is not something to fool around with, but it's very interesting. Say you had a greenhouse and you wanted to measure CO levels or you were doing experimental chambers, something that's not gonna harm you if this is off. Speaking of being off, this is not calibrated. And to calibrate this, you would need to have a specific mixture of the gas that you know you want to measure and calibrate it that way. If you want to do something that's for commercial purposes or, or highly calibrated, you really need to talk to a professional. If you're experimenting around with things that are not going to harm you, this is a great solution. So let's hook it up. I'm going to select rows one through four on my Arduino. And there's basically a five volt in, a ground, and the analog pin. There's also an enable pin here, it's labeled EN. And if you connect that to high, it will actually turn it off. So we are not going to connect that one for this purpose. Let's connect up ground. There we go, to the Arduino ground pin. We'll connect the five volt to our five volt pin. And the analog zero to analog zero. And that's it. We'll take a look at the code and we'll look at it visualized in the serial monitor. Keep in mind that when this first starts up, it uses a small heater, so we should allow a few seconds for it to get up to temperature and be ready to work. So let's load up Arduino and see how it goes. So I will go to Examples, Basics, Read Analog Voltage. Again, this is going to take the sensor data and convert it into analog voltage that we can use with an Arduino. So all we need to do is read the voltages coming in on analog zero. And before we do anything, let's plug in the Arduino. And it looks like we're connected properly. Let's upload it. And it's uploading here. You can see the lights are flashing. Now we're gonna let this warm up just a little bit. And this is one of those sensors that's kind of fun to look at with a serial plotter. If you're using an older version of Arduino and you don't see serial plotter, just make sure you update it. It's one of the latest versions that has that. So if I open up serial plotter, nothing's happening. And that's probably a good thing. There's no gases to detect. And it's also taking a base reading of what gases are here. Again, it has no idea what type of gas it's measuring, whether it's toxic or any, any attribute of the gas. But what I saw was this handy dandy air freshener contains ammonium, ethanol, a whole bunch of interesting chemicals. Let's spray this in a cup. And now I'm gonna pour this over the sensor and let's look at the plotter. Can you see that? It's going up and down as it dissipates. We're almost back to zero. So as you can see, it was able to detect the gases that were in this cup. What type of gases, we don't know, and how much, we also don't know. We just know that there was a change in the amount of gas that was in the current atmosphere.